Hi guys! Welcome sa NG Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang integrals yielding inverse trigonometric functions. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung integrals yielding inverse trigonometric functions. Meaning, kapag nag-integrate tayo, yung magiging sagot niya is inverse trigo function. So, naderive lang tong mga formula na to for integrals yielding inverse trigonometric functions dun din sa formula natin for the derivatives of inverse trigo function. So, meron na akong video doon. So, kung hindi pa napapanood, ay link ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, meron tayong anim na formula. So, for the first one, we have Integral ng du over square root ng 1 minus u squared is equal to arc sine of u plus c. So, di ba kung matatandaan nyo, yung derivative ng arc sine u is what? 1 over square root ng 1 minus u squared, right? So, kapag inintegrate natin both sides, ang magiging sagot natin bali is itong arc sine u kapag inintegrate nga natin itong expression nito. So, kaya ito yung formula niya. Same as ito sa integral ng du over 1 plus u squared, equal siya sa arc tan u plus c. Kasi derivative ng arc tan u is... 1 over 1 plus u squared, right? So, kaya ito yung formula niya. And then, lastly, we have integral ng du over u squared ng u squared minus 1 is equal to arc second of u plus c. So, base lang din to sa derivative ng arc second u na 1 over u squared ng u squared minus 1. So, mapapansin nyo, tatlo lang. Kasi, yung formula natin for derivatives of yung cosine, cotangent, tsaka cosecant, negative lang nitong tatlo, right? So, kaya nyo na rin sinulat kasi Similar lang sila dito, yun nga lang merong negative sign. Okay? And then, meron tayong special cases dito sa tatlo. So, meron tayo yung integral ng du over square root ng a squared minus u squared equal rin siya sa arc sine of u over a plus c where a is greater than 0. So, ito yung case kung saan kapag meron tayong square root ng a squared minus u squared sa denominator wherein yung Constant 1 natin dito, instead of 1, is meron tayong another value of constant, let's say A, where A is greater than 0. So, ang magiging revised integral lang yan is itong arc sign nyo, lalagyan nyo lang ng over A sa denominator. Okay? Then, meron din tayong integral ng du over A squared plus U squared. So, equal siya sa 1 over A arc tan of U over A plus C, where A is not equal to 0. So, this time, yung 1 naman natin dito is other constant value Let's say A. Okay? So, ang magiging revision nito sa arctan nyo is magkakaroon siya ng constant na 1 over A multiplied by arctan nyo na meron ding denominator na A. Okay? And then lastly, we have integral ng du over u squared ng u squared minus a squared is equal to 1 over a arc second u over a plus c where a is greater than 0. So, same lang din. This time, meron tayong constant other than 1 na A. So, magiging formula is derivase lang natin as 1 over A, arc second of U na meron ding denominator na A. Okay? So, ito mga gagamitin natin formula for this video to find the integrals yielding inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, okay. so let's try to solve some examples para may illustrate natin yung mga formula. So, evaluate the following integrals. For the first one, we have... Integral ng dx over square root of 4 minus 9x squared. So, kung mapapansin nyo, saan natin ito pwedeng mapattern? Dito, right, sa integral ng du over square root ng a squared minus u squared. Kasi, Kasi pwede natin itong i write as integral ng dx over... So, itong 4, pwede natin gawing 2 squared, right? So, parang a mo dito is 2. Then, minus, itong 9x squared, pwede natin gawing u equal to... 3x. Pag in-square natin, magiging 9x squared, right? So, parang u squared. So, therefore, nakuha natin yung form na to sa denominator. Square root nung a squared minus u squared. Kasi dahil dx pa yung differential natin, dapat i-transform natin sa du. So, ang gawin natin is i-differentiate natin both sides ito. So, magiging du is equal to 3dx. So, dx lang yung kailangan natin. Divide natin both sides by 3. So, therefore, we have du over 3 is equal to dx. So, pwede natin i-transform. So, integral ng itong dx magiging du over 3 over square root ng, so, 2 squared nga minus u squared. So, itong du over 3 parang may 1 third siya, diba? So, igilid ko na lang. 
1 third integral ng du over square root ng 2 squared minus u squared. So, ano formula natin kanina doon? Arc sine of u over a plus c. So, therefore, ang sagot dito is 1 third arc sine. Ano yung u natin? 3x. Over, ano yung a natin? 2. Then, plus c. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have integral of dx over 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. Okay, so kapag ganito integral natin, meron tayong denominator na quadratic, usually pinafactor natin yon. So, dapat walang numerical coefficient yung x squared natin or 1 lang yung numerical coefficient niya. So, factor out muna natin yung 3. So, magiging integral ng dx over, so factor out natin yung 3, magiging x squared minus 2 thirds x plus 5 over 3, right? And then, itong 3 sa denominator, parang 1 third rin, di ba? Constant. So, igigilid ko na lang as 1 third integral ng dx over x squared minus 2 thirds x plus 5 over 3. So, sabi ko nga, ikaw-complete the square natin. So, mag-a-add at mag-subtract tayo ng constant para ma-complete yung square natin dito. So, ano yung constant na i-add at subtract natin? So, yung numerical coefficient nitong x na 2 thirds divide natin sa 2 so ilan yon 1 third right so 2 thirds divided by 2 is 1 third and then square natin yon 1 over 9 so therefore we have we have 1 third integral ng dx over x squared minus 2 thirds x so mag a tayo ng 1 9 so in close ko na sa parenthesis kasi siya yung if a factor out natin as perfect trinomial square, then plus 5 over 3 minus 1, 9. Para balance. tag a tayo ng 1, 9. Mag minus tayo ng 1, 9 para equivalently, wala lang tayong inad. Parang 0 lang, right? So, therefore, we have 1 third integral ng dx over, so, anong factored form nito? x minus 1 third squared, right? Then, plus, so, 5 thirds minus 1, 9 is what? So, LCD is 9. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3 times 5 is 15. Minus, 9 divided by 9 is 1 times 1 is 1. So, 15 minus 1 or 14 over 9. So, sulat ko, 14 over 9. Okay, so, mapapansin nyo, meron tayong plus sa denominator. So, meron din tayong x minus 1 third quantity squared, tsaka 14 over 9. So, anong pwede natin gamitin formula dito? Obviously, yung arc tangent, right? So, ilalit lang natin mismo na yung u is equal dito sa x minus 1 third. Tapos, yung a natin dito, bale, is dapat itong square root of 14 over 3. Kasi pag in-square natin yan, equal siya dito sa 14 over 9, right? Okay, so parang A natin is square root of 14 over 3. So, meron na tayong 1 third integral ng dx over u squared. Ito yung yun natin na x minus 1 third plus square root of 14 over 3 quantity squared. So, dapat itong dx maging du. So, yung nilet yun natin na x minus 1 third, differentiate natin. Equal yun saan? du is equal to dx lang, right? So, pag sinasutut natin, we have 1 third integral ng, so yung dx, du na, over u squared plus square root of 14 over 3 squared. So, pwede natin i-apply yung formula for arc tan. Ano yun? 1 over a, arc tan of u over a plus c. So, therefore, we have 1 over a. a natin is square root of 14 over 3, right? So, meron pa pala tayong 1 third dito na nakamultiply. Then, arc tan of u natin is x minus 1 third over a. Square root of 14 over 3 plus c. Or, kapag sinimplify natin, so, parang makakancel ito, right? So, 1 over square root of 14 arc tan of multiply na lang natin itong x minus 1 third over square root of 14 over 3 sa 3, both numerator and denominator. So, we have 
3x minus 1, and then ito cancel si 3, square root of 14 plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have integral of quantity 2x plus 7 dx over x squared plus 2x plus 5. Okay, so this time may gagawin ako. Pag si-separatein ko itong 2x plus 7 as 2x plus 2 plus 5 over x squared plus 2x plus 5 then times dx. So, ito isang quantity tapos yung 5 separate. So, pag distribute ko yung denominator, we have integral ng 2x plus 2 over x squared plus 2x plus 5 dx plus integral ng 5 over so x squared plus 2x plus 5. Dinistribute ko rin sa 5. Then dx. Okay, so baka ito ginawang ganito? Kasi ito, pwede na rin itong i-integrate by u substitution. Pwede natin i-let u itong denominator na x squared plus 2x plus 5. So, meron tayong du is equal to 2x plus 2 times dx, right? So, divide na yon yung 2x plus 2 dx. Pwede na, pwede na lang natin palitan as du. So, integral ng du over itong x squared plus 2x plus 5, yun na lang. So, integrable na siya. Anong formula kapag meron tayong integral ng du over u? ln u lang, ba So, ln u. And then, ibalik na natin in terms of x, which is yung u is x squared plus 2x plus 5. So, palitan na natin ng value. So, ln of x squared plus 2x plus 5. So, ito palang yung integral na yun. Then, dito sa pangalawa, yung integral ng 5 over x squared plus 2x plus 5 times dx. So, pwede natin gawin yung ginawa natin sa example 2, yung i-complete natin yung square nitong denominator. So, parang equal lang to sa 5 integral ng dx over x squared plus 2x plus 5. Kasi constant naman yung 5, ginilid ko na lang. So, so we have 5 integral ng dx over x squared plus 2x. So, anong i-add natin? Divide natin yung numerical coefficient ng x na 2 by 2, so 1. And then, squared natin, so 1 pa rin. So, plus 1, then, plus 5 minus 1. So, we have 5 integral ng dx over, so, factorable na to, right? Magiging x plus 1, quantity squared, then plus 5 minus 1 is 4. So, tulad dun sa kanina, pwede natin ilet u itong x plus 1, then, du is equal to dx, Tapos, itong a natin is 2 kasi 2 squared is 4. So, equal na to sa 5 integral ng du over u squared plus 2 squared. So, ano na yung formula kanina? 1 over a arctan of u over a. So, therefore, equal to sa 5 times 1 over a is 2 then arctan of u which is x plus 1 over a na 2 plus c. Or 5 over 2, right? So, pag pinagsama natin lahat, pati itong nauna, we have ln of x squared plus 2x plus 5 plus 5 over 2 arctan of x plus 1 over 2 plus c. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have Integral of 3dx over x plus 2 quantity times the square root of x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, so mapapansin nyo, meron tayong square root and then merong expression, quadratic, trinomial dito sa loob ng square root and then may nakamultiply sa labas na quantity x plus 2. So ano sa tingin nyo yung pwede natin apply na formula? Itong, Yung for arc, arc second, right? So, kasi pwede natin i-complete the square muna itong expression inside the radical. So, pag ginawa natin yun, equal to saan? 3dx over x plus 2 square root of so, x squared plus 4x. So, divide natin tong 4. Yung numerical coefficient ng x by 2, we have 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then, square pa natin is Four. So, plus 4, and then, plus 3, minus 4. Okay? 
So, therefore, we have integral ng, so itong 3, ilabas ko na lang kasi constant naman, gilid na lang natin. Then, x plus 2, square root of, ano na to pag finactor? x plus 2 quantity squared, right? Then, plus 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So, saktong-sakto, right? So, therefore, pag nilet yun natin itong x plus 2, then du is equal to dx. Ano yung a natin dito? 1 lang. So, a is 1. Kasi 1 squared is 1 pa rin. So, equal na to sa 3 integral ng du over itong x plus 2 is u. Square root of yung x plus 2 is u. Then, naka squared minus 1. Okay, so anong formula natin kanina? 1 over a arc second of u over a. So, we have 3 times 1 over a. A natin is 1 times arc second of u. U natin is x plus 2 over a na 1 plus c. Or simply, 3 arc second of x plus 2 plus c. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Integrals Yielding Inverse Trigonometric Functions. Okay, so practice lang kayo ng mag-practice ng mga ganitong types of integrals. And then later on, mamaster nyo rin ito. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na ito at maraming salamat sa panunood.